Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. Season four, Discovery, or season of Discovery, dropping here in the next 22 hours. If you didn't already know, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I haven't been paying attention to season of Discovery. I was looking, it's been like two months since I made a video for season of Discovery. But, uh, you know, we're back finally. And get a bunch of new good content too. What it's looking like. Um, been hearing a lot of drama, a lot of criticism. Season discovery is too hard. Season discovery is too easy. I'm just happy to have a game to play. Honestly, that's good. Um, wow is all we got. Wow is all we've had for the longest time. Um, let's jump into some of the cool stuff though. So, you know, right off the rip. Level cap's going to be 60. We're going to get our 100% mounts. All great things, of course. Uh, reworked raids. 20-player versions of Molten Core and 40-player versions of Nixia's and Instance World Bosses. Wait, Instance World Bosses? What the heck does that mean? Um, but yeah. Um, loot has been upgraded and revamped. Redesigned Tier 1 sets. Sweet. So everything's going to like scale a little bit better. Than what it did which is really good to hear there's going to be an entirely new dungeon really excited for that of course we got new runes for your cloaks new runes for your rings there as well and a new world event so instead of like the uh the blood moon or the ashenvale event i guess that we're going to have a new black rock event i wonder if it's going to be a pvp event though it almost kind of sounds like a pve event um but i'm not sure i haven't seen any information about it other than of course you know it's at the black rock black rock mountain alliance are getting the world buff that uh <laughs> the horde got that's good thank thankfully because i'm alliance now um probably gonna go back to horde for um the war within so yeah yeah um a new currency going to be dropped there so tarnished under mine real there so that's going to be dropped from the dungeons and then we get our alterac valley that's going to be that's going to be pretty crazy actually with all the new updates uh pvp updates class sites available for rank 10 okay all right let's see so what the first thing here is we're looking at you're gonna we're gonna be leveling through Asian plague lands blasted lands Black Rock Spire, School of Mats. So I'm assuming a lot of people are going to probably use the Nightmare Zones to level up until they can anymore. And then they're going to just blast dungeons the whole time to level. I'm assuming that's what my guild is going to do. Um, ooh, so it looks like from 50 to 60, you actually are going to get a little boost there. So that'll be nice. Make that leveling experience a little bit faster there because... 50 to 60 is a grind. A grind. Um, so they reworked a lot of the raids, the world bosses, from what they were saying. Let me see. And finally, in an un excuse me, an unprecedented move, the world bosses Lord Kazakh and Azergos will be becoming instance bosses. These bosses will be tuned to 20 players, but up to 40 players can enter the instance in the same group. As soon as we have more details about the raid counter, section below. Okay. Okay, so Lord Kazakh and Ezergos are going to be instance, but what about the other world bosses? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, but that's really interesting that they're going to be instancing those. How are they going to instance those bosses? I wonder if they're going to be put new instance portals in those areas. I guess we'll find out. Um, of course, you know, we're going to be raiding the Molten Core, so a lot of people will get their hands on Sulfrost, the Hand of Ragnaros. I'm going to be definitely playing my Paladin over my Rogue. Um, so we'll see if I can get that. If not, oh well. I'd like to get it though. I don't know if we'll be able to play that much. Um, but yeah, of course, have a lot of new dungeons we'll be able to do. Black Rock Spire, Black Rock Depths, Dire Maul, all three wings. Skolomance, Strathholm, and then the new dungeon. I, uh, the new dungeon looks so cool. I can't wait for other than we'll, we'll look at the yeah here it is so the entirely new dungeon here 
Um, do they have a name for it? Demon Fall Canyon. So if you are a warg, if you are a warlock or a paladin, you would have done the quest that would have brought you to this area. Um, this is where Manoroth, I think it was Manoroth there, is killed by um, Grom Hellscream and his brother there. And then his daggers are still actually there. Daggers, swords, whatever you want to call them. Um, and that's actually going to be some of the loot. Where was it at? So we got this new dungeon. Yeah, we get to fight Hellscream's Phantom. That'll be cool. Oh, that's maybe that's his Phantom right there. We got to fight his Phantom. Um, and then, oh. New weapon, Shadow of Gorehowl, as well. And then they have the other weapon, the Dread Blades of Destruction. Manroth's uh, two-handed sword there. So I'll be able to use it as a paladin, but those stats, the chance on hit, it kind of sucks. And then the equip also kind of sucks. It's more, more of a P... Yeah, it's... <laughs> Definitely more of a PvP item. That's okay. Um, it is terribly slow. Um, I know Paladins, we want like a two-speed weapon. And I thought they were going to be changing everything to two-speed. Because I heard they changed quite a few to two-speed, but... They didn't change that. Oh, well. Um, let's go back here. We got our new rune engravings for the cloaks and the rings. That's some class adjustments there. Um, not all the runes have even been found yet, it looks like. Um, so that'll be exciting. Uh, PvP for updates. Blizzard announced that Phase 4 will bring PvP class sets for rank 10. Don't seem to be any plans for a new PvP event. Okay, so... That should confirm it that the Blackrock Eruption is not a PvP event. It is a PvE event. Okay, yeah. Oh, here it is. Black Rock Eruption. So you can learn almost everything about it. Well, no official word has been given about a new world event. Players on the PTR have found something called the Black Rock Eruption when nearing Black Rock Mountain area in Burning Steps. It's not currently playable, but as soon as... We, oh, so it's not even playable yet, but it's showing that it's going to start at two minutes or two hours. That makes me excited. Now, there's still there's still stuff we don't even know about happening in the game and it hasn't been data mined yet it hasn't been leaked yet that's sick because that's always like people always know every single little detail of an update before it even comes out so it's spoiled for everybody it's fun to just find things out on the go Instead of just researching every little thing you do before you go do it. Which, I am obviously, uh, <laughs> I'm obviously a, a person that does that. Um, especially when I, if I go places in real life, I'm going to research that place before I go there. To find out if I even want to spend my time doing that, you know? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything we want to go over. Uh, a lot of the re itemizations you can look up here. Um, so they're adding, of course, for um, spellcasters, adding, adding that uh, spell power in there. Uh, looks like they're upping some defenses. They lowered the armor on it, up the defense. A um, little bit more spell power. More spell power, spell power, <laughs> spell power, spell power more defense took the dodge off more defense less armor there um this looks like it's for feral oh so there's like feral specific stuff on there too uh spell power spell power spell power oh city and age fame they changed this huh they made it slower it does a little bit more damage same amount of strength. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Put crit on it. Oh, plus three to swords. Oh wait, it was plus eight on there. Now it's plus three. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's better. I don't really know. 
Trinket changes here. Let's see what else. Earthshaker. She has to knock all enemies down. What? Fist weapons. Anyway. I like to find things out kind of on the go. Want to experience the game and then I can ruin the rest of it for myself. Um, but yeah. Less than one day left. Less than 24 hours. And then... Oh, they're not, you're not even going to be able to do Molten Core for the first two weeks. So don't even worry about it. You have plenty of time to level up. Plenty of time to get gear before Molten Core is even out. Um, but we'll probably be able to do Anixia's Lair and those world bosses before any of that even happens. Okay, yeah. There's just those two and Anixia's Lair. And then Molten, Molten Core will come out sweet i'm stoked um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below you can have a little discussion uh, tell me what you're most excited for or tell me what you're not excited for are you st still going to be playing season of discovery or are you over it a lot of people have been really upset they're like they still want season of discovery to be um classic wow but I mean, I, I always tell people, like, it's a test. Like, they're just testing different things out. Um, but some people are saying that they're, they're going beyond their needs to test different things out. But I don't know. I think they're having fun. They're testing what doesn't work, does work and doesn't work. Um, and maybe doing things as if they would have wanted to or how they had planned to back back in the day. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Let's have a discussion. Um, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.